just very very quickly on the vocabulary uh we've got useful vocabulary we've got uh different sorts of films can you see the different sorts of films so we've got romantic comedy sometimes we call that a rom-com horror film where things are really scary that's where you get frightened science fiction film about science fiction is where you might have a film talking about something that happens in space social realism that's a film where there's um the story is usually about something that's real about something that's actually happened an action film that will be a film where there is a, maybe a lot of fighting joss what's a fantasy film a fantasy film would be a film like like lord of the rings like an, a film entirely in the imagination or a film okay like, can you can like you think like avatar which is a film which has been completely created from the imagination without any possibility of, of reality. Joss, are there other genres that I haven't included? No, I think that's, I think that's, that, that can cover everything. And within, within those um, genres, films are typically set in a, in a time period, whether, whether it's in the modern day, or in 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 history in a historical term in historical ages and we call those period dramas because it's a previous period in history okay lena can you just add in period drama please yes sure period okay. or period they call it period or historical uh -huh. drama. thanks elena Okay, and if we look on in the other box, there are just some uh, useful questions or useful phrases that might come up in a minute. So, um, if you're trying to find out about a film at the cinema, you might say, what's on at the cinema? What's on at the cinema tonight? Or, what's, what's, or you'd say, what's on or what's screening? Oh, okay. Or what's showing? Yeah, what's showing is good. What's showing? Yeah. Uh, entertainment. That that means um, what you find interesting, maybe. A box office success. That means a film that's really that many many people like. And if if a film has got a uh, very successful, maybe it will get an Oscar. Is that right, Joss? Well, box office success is is always about how much money does that film make by people going to the cinema. So, so the, is that so is that linked to an Oscar or not really? No, no. Okay, it's not an Oscar, but it's linked to how financially successful the film is so a film like titanic or avatar are the most successful films ever made in history for the amount of money that those films make at the box office at the cinema all around the world so okay Okay. Um, may, then, may I use in Google Translator to translate you? <laughs> yes. Uh, the next question is, where is the film set? What does that mean, Joss? Where is the film set? So where where is the location, or you know, the house, or the country, or the landscape, or where is the the main location 
for the film to take place. So, 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 so where is it set? Is that where is it, and what, and at what time in history or modern day is the film set? Okay. Does, it, does the film take place? And the next question is, what is the film about? Can you can you talk about that? What is the film about? So, in in very simple terms, what what is the story of the film? It, is it a film about a family, or a dog, or a school, or a hospital, or a marriage, or a relationship? That what you know what is what is the what is the main um, purpose and story of the film? However, as with all art and cinema. Cinema is very good at having a story about a family, but the other meaning of the film is about a country. Or so the so the people within the within the story become a metaphor or a a, a symbol of a wider story. Do you understand that, everybody? Olena? Mm. Vitalia, do you understand? Yes, I understand. Fantastic. Um, okay. Joss, what are the special effects? What are the special effects? The special effects on a film are all of the, uh, the magic that can't happen in real life, which can happen in a film. So, for example, if somebody gets hit on the head with a, a, you know, a frying pan, that they obviously they wouldn't do that in a film. So they have to use a special frying pan made out of rubber or paper, and then they make the noise afterwards, and you believe that it's a real frying pan. Or somebody gets hit with a phone like this. They would use a pretend phone, as well as now a lot of the, the, the special effects might be uh, digital effects, which are drawn on a computer and added to the film, like Avatar is entirely made on the computer with real actors doing filming in studio, and then they become turned into digital characters. And other, other simple special effects, always on a film set, they always use smoke. So they put in fake smoke to make it feel atmospheric. Or they use lighting to create a, a mood or a kind of atmosphere. Thank you. Um, Joss, what is the soundtrack? What is the soundtrack? Well, the... The soundtrack is two very, very principal, different things. First one is the actual, the, 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 the people speaking, so you can hear them speaking very clearly, even, even if they're very, very small in, in, the, uh, in the frame. So it, it's their actual, the words, the words which are synchronized to the pictures, as well as the other soundtrack is the music and the sound effects and the kind of atmosphere that is created with sound to, to create the atmosphere and the illusion and the kind of mood for the film. And the, and the music, so you have the music as well as sound effects, as well as the, the dialogue from the actors. Wow, I didn't realize that. Um, the cast. What is the cast? So the cast is a simple word to mean all of the actors who we see on the screen. And so they so they would often have the main cast, who are the famous actors, and then they also have what are called the supporting cast, who are the additional people in the background, who are in you know, everyone else in the film on screen, 
but not the main speaking cast. Okay, and we know what acting is. The acting is the yeah. action that the actors. So what 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 I think we could ask um, Elena to introduce here. There's another yeah. after the cast. Elena, I wonder if you could put yeah. in the next line: the crew. Oh uh -huh. yes, interesting. So, crew. So the crew are the people who make the film with everyone from the writer to the director to the producer who who gets everyone together to the camera person to the sound recording person the person who designs the 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 location the buildings the sets somebody who designs the costumes and everything they wear and somebody does all the makeup and the special effects makeup. And every one of those departments is, is a large department with lots of people that work within that department. So on the end, when you watch a film, at the end you see the, you see the, the number of people on a film, on a, a big Hollywood film, there could be nearly 300 people who help wow. make it. And Joss, um, you obviously know a lot about films. Um, can you tell us how come you're so knowledgeable? Why well, do you know so much about films? So for over 30 years, I've been working on films. And I, in my career, I'm a photographer. So I take still photographs. But every film has to have photographs that they use to sell and to advertise the film. So in the front of the cinema, there's a big, a big poster with the name, with the people. And then when you open a magazine, there'll be a picture of a famous actor as a portrait, but also a picture of him in the film or her in the film. So the pictures are used to, to illustrate the film, but also to advertise and to um, to bring publicity for the film. Mm 